Come join us when we launch into National Athletic Training Month 2019. Hi, right, welcome back. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about mentors and also a stationary bike RPM Max. Who can go the fastest? It's not going to be me. <laughs> All right, let's talk about mentors. I think um, if you don't have a mentor, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. You need to find you somebody that you can confide in that maybe has been around the block, uh, that knows a couple of things about athletic training uh, that can help you out. Or maybe you can emulate how that person acts or uh, performs their job. Yes, totally agree. Where y'all want to start? Well, who was your mentor? Uh, I had three mentors. Uh, the first mentor I had was at Humble High School. I was a student athletic trainer in high school. Uh, Pete Daigle. Uh, Pete's not real involved in the professional aspect as far as being part of organizations or attending SWAT. <laughs> Uh, but what he did teach me was uh, work ethic and how to work extremely hard uh, to get what you want and accomplish your goals. Uh, I really uh, I, I like that about Pete and I really try to model what I do, a part of my uh, athletic training experience for everybody uh, that way too. Uh, second mentor I had was Everett Blackburn. He was at Howard College. Uh, and he really showed me a compassion for athletic training or be passionate about athletic training. Uh, he was very passionate about athletic training. He was involved in some uh, organizations with SWATA uh, and uh, I really learned a lot as far as being passionate and if you're not passionate you need to go ahead and get out of this profession. Uh, uh, my last mentor was Sandy Miller. Uh, Sandy was at Stephen F. Austin when I was there and he told me taught me how to be professional. He's a very professional uh, athletic trainer and I really uh, like to emulate the way he does things and how professional he is uh, in, in his career. Seems like three very influential mentors that yeah. I have. Um, you know, as far as my mentors go, um, you know, Mike Fisher um, was my high school athletic trainer who introduced me to the world of athletic training um, and really propelled me towards pursuing athletic training as a career. Um, he was very modest, um, not very involved in the professional organization per se, um, but was knew a lot of the, the landscape of athletic training and people to contact and was very influential in that regard. Um, you know, the next few athletic trainers um, were a lot of athletic trainers, the uh, other staff at Texas Tech University. Um, one being Mark Shemansky, and then Buzz Chisholm, as most people know him by, and then Steve Pancock um, were three of the athletic trainers at Tech that I consider to be mentors to me. Each of them had a level of professional um, courtesy about them but were also passionate in their own ways um, and they definitely made a big impact on my life and how they carried themselves. Um, Buzz is a very outgoing people person knows. I don't think there's a person that Buzz doesn't know. Um, whereas Steve is very calm demeanor. Um, He's very involved in uh, his weightlifting um, but with that he taught me that you also have to be able to maintain a level of health as an athlete in yourself um, in order to better support and help your athletes. Um, so those three were very influential to me. Um, I almost wanted to talk about you. Well, as I told y'all last time, I graduated from here. So Chris Shattuck was my athletic trainer in high school. Um, he's probably definitely one of the biggest mentors I have. Uh, from the three men that made him him, he's created me as an athletic trainer. Um, and then, you know, he's just pushed me every day, every year, um, go do this, go get this, be a part of this, this is how you do it. Um, and he's definitely kind of shown me the ropes, um, for sure. Lindsay Thomas, um, she's shown me how to be a female in this profession. 
and how to have a family and how to balance work life and home life, definitely. Um, Jeff Smith, he's shown me how to be happy every day, how to come to work, work hard, and don't stop until the sun goes down or, heck, the sun comes up. Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of good athletic trainers, wonderful athletic trainers in this profession. They just shape us every day to become who we are. Yep, okay. Yeah, that's good. So if you if you don't have a mentor or you're looking for a mentor, one way to do that is to get outside that box, get out of the training room and meet some people. Find people that uh, maybe uh, do a lot of good things in this profession or do a lot of good things where they're working. Uh, some things that you admire about people or their program, and just reach out and talk to that person. Uh, and I'm sure that we would love to help. I know I would. Uh, people reach out all the time. Oh, yeah. uh, I give them every every piece of knowledge I have. If I can give it to you, I'm, I'm going to lend it to you. Um, any advice for people out there that maybe need a mentor? Or? Yeah. Uh, one thing I would suggest is check with your district um, associations as well as NATA. I know SWATA has a uh, listserv for mentors that you can contact that may be in your regional area or in your own town or city. Um, and you never know um, until you actually go and explore and re do your research um, who's out there that could possibly be a mentor to help impact you or direct you down a path that you may have not ever seen yourself going down. Um, and also look right next to you. Sometimes your co-workers um, can be mentors to you as well. Um, I know Chris has been a mentor to me in my five years here at Dawson um, and how he's built his program from scratch and how he's invested in it year after year and poured into the students here. And that's why you can see his tree growing with students who are in the profession who are becoming certified and licensed. Um, throughout the profession. Shout out to Brittany Smithley! <laughs> Based off of how he's invested into um, this profession um, and helped kids build their careers along the way. So I think it's just a matter of sometimes us realizing the importance of that and the people that you surround yourself with on a day to day basis. And if you're shy about reaching out to someone in that way, um, the NATA website or your district page usually has like a volunteer list. And if you just get out and volunteer and meet new people, you might find yourself having a mentor or a friend that you can confide in or learn from and stuff like that. Okay. Well, like and subscribe if you enjoy what you're seeing. And I'm going to stop this video and we'll do, we'll do the RPM Max. Are we going to do bike or are we going to do elliptical? Let's do bike. We'll do the bike. Stationary bike or recumbent? Stationary. We're going stationary bike, RPM max. Whoever gets the most, whoever gets the highest RPM, what's the, what's the award? What do you get? A slap on the back. <laughs> we'll see who's the best. Who's going to be the best? Okay. So what are the rules? Okay. Oh, we didn't set any rules. Let's go a minute. You have a minute to get those. Let's go 30 seconds well, max. We got to get the quick start going. Get quick start going. Okay. Then 30 second maximum. Okay. No. Resistance no at one. Okay. One, five, ten. Go two. 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 Resistance right. two. That's your maximum? No, it's not my max. I keep, my feet keep falling. Ugh. It was like 145. You got five seconds left. No. <laughs> A 130 max? Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> All right. Roger Williams, can you beat 130? Yeah. My feet kept slipping. Sorry, I didn't do it. Yeah, nine. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> Rod rode his bike to work today. He's already warmed up. So Rod's already warmed up. Oh, 
189. Oh, he's already reached it. He ain't reaching it. <laughs> See? Your feet. I'm done. You videoing? I'm videoing. Okay, Ron got 190. Old man can't read very well without his glasses. Alright. See, y'all didn't use the foot strap. They're not that easy to slip on. Oh man, there's no resistance on this thing. I'm gonna try it. Oh, I'm glad y'all got the fan on. Okay. I'm going to pour it. <laughs> 228. I already won. 230. Keep going, keep going. I'm not going anymore. I already won. I hit the whole 30 seconds. <laughs> hey guys. Hey, right, if you have a name that for this show, feel free to shout it out through Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram. Let us know. We're taking ideas and suggestions. See ya. <laughs>